we need to be investing in things that are going to continue to keep us on the right path, keep us growing, keep us celebrating our strengths. Uh, and that means giving CBC the tools it needs to do its job. It's just time to get rid of the CBC. I mean, maybe there was a time when the government needed to subsidize a broadcaster so that Canadians could be sure they would have television in their local markets. Maybe there was a time, there was a time when 50% of Canadians would watch the CBC. It was the only channel in lots of smaller markets in the country. But now, do you know how many people, how many Canadians watch the CBC at any given time? About 2%. That's about 5 or 6% of the adult television market. So no one is watching. When the CBC says it's the, the way Canadians tell one another their stories, no. It's increasingly the way that a small minority, a tiny, tiny minority of Canadians with particular tastes and political views tell one another that they're the smartest people on the planet. And that I don't think the rest of us need to spend $1.3 billion a year subsidizing. The kicker for me came last winter when the CBC decided to get rid of 27 local suppertime news programs. It has 27 different French and English affiliates across the country that used to have their own local news broadcasts at 6 p.m. But among them, among all 27, this isn't one station each, all 27 together had fewer than 320,000 viewers for their suppertime newscasts. Mathematically, it makes sense for the CBC to get rid of that. And so the, the, the CBC did and said it was pooling its resources into one national local newscast uh, in, in those 27 markets. But it's withdrawn its local news coverage. And so why should people then in smaller markets pay the, the CBC subsidy every year when no one is watching. And now the CBC isn't even bothering to produce local newscasts. Instead, it's gone to one national English language suppertime newscast and one French language one. You, you can't even get the CBC in lots of middle-level markets in Canada, like Medicine Hat, Alberta, and Brandon, Manitoba, and Prince George, and Kamloops in BC, because the CBC has withdrawn from terrestrial broadcasting. Now, okay, so lots and lots of people now are watching streaming television, or they're listening to streaming music, or they're listening to satellite radio, and the CBC is doing those things. But if you get $1.3 billion a year in subsidies from the taxpayer, then every taxpayer, even people who still only have antennas on the roofs of their houses, ought to be able to receive your public service. But the CBC now is far more directly in competition with private broadcasters and music services than it ever was before. It shows far less Canadian content than it used to. And the reason that it gets $1.3 in subsidies is because it's the guardian of Canadian culture and the preserver of local stories and, and you know, the, the way we tell our, our stories from one end to the other, all of that is mostly gone at the CBC. And so that's mostly why I object to paying $1.3 billion a year to the CBC and them still asking for more.